Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to try and do it. I want to park the head. This is what I did the first time I took this off. But I had the problem I ran into. Let's see if I can recreate it here. Uh,
try to get the head. Whoa, yeah. Oh, then all of a sudden it all comes out. And this is what I find. When I get it out, I have this uh, this drive here. I don't know if this is in the camera or not, but let's try it. says uh, Milwaukee on the top and uh, you can see that in some of these areas where apparently this has been done over and over and over again people have tried to take it off with it in place and they actually gouged into this collar so the next thought was well why is that collar like that well let's park the head This is uh now the overarms are partially out. And this is important that, as it turns out, this is what the, the solution was. Now it parks nicely on there. And uh, it acts pretty good. That's just like a quick change deal. Uh, now Put this back over here. See if I can get a, a shot down here. <clears throat> I saw a little advice on this, and uh, what we came up with was probably. An idea was, you know, in order to facilitate taking that on and off, it might be a good idea to disassemble this and um, uh, cut this radius down so that the gear is clear so I can get this on and off without having to remove this gear. Um, more on that later. <laughs> okay, now the program is <clears throat> I got a, a bar that I have to narrow and uh, I had to, uh, the, these uh, pins here are on the other head, are on the remote head. So rather than switching them back and forth, what I did was I took a piece of 5 8 tool steel and I made a pair of these. Let me get them up. fit on the other 
evidently that's sloppier, that uh, spindle in that, in that, because uh, these are not, you gotta, you gotta have to take something off of these. They're uh, just slightly, yeah, a little large. So, let me knock a little edge off of these things. And uh, we'll get back at it. Okay, now I'm back. I got these, uh, I was fooling around with the overarms here. Just checking and making sure that nice and smooth. They go in and out. Um, these are in and in place. Now I'm going to stick this. Uh, three-quarter inch uh, rough uh, roughing detail line in here. I gotta cut off a piece of uh, I'll show you the bar. Uh, this uh this draw bar. I, this stuff's all new to me, so um, what I'm doing here is I bottom the draw bar there and back it out a couple of turns and then there's a secondary nut. You take a big shot of that from back here. So it's basically got the uh, got the uh, tool snug there. And now I'm going to snug it with the second nut. In that way. I'm not pulling any threads on on the uh, not on, on threads up in the tool. Okay, we'll go back out here. Now I'm gonna get some, some work to set up in here. I'll be back with you in a little bit. Thank you. 